AA people. Um, it's a Saturday morning, 10 a.m. <laughs> I feel like they do that on purpose. They're like, oh, yeah, oh they he's home? They're like, they're, they're waiting for it, and they're like, is he vlogging? <laughs> Um, I think he's not going. Oh, he's not. Um, <clears throat> we're Ricky and me, um, Ricky and I, yes. are having a, um, a meeting right now. <laughs> so important. <laughs> and um, it is actually. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of like figuring out like how we can work together um, and and more like how do how do I name this? How do I give context to this? meeting it's like we talked about paying ricky um i want to start paying ricky we talked about what is what his price is you know um a going rate like we talked financial we talked about like priorities we talked about where where we want to take the company and what we should focus on right now so um it's uh it's an important thing to do I think and I want Ricky to to be part of this long term and not just like having some fun in Bali um, so we talked about you know what what is what his salary would be and how we're getting there and where we are right now in terms of financial um, we have three clients right now that have signed the contract and um, I have three to four people in the pipeline right now who are um, close, so I hope that a percentage of those people will also sign on and become a client and um, then um, we can start building this out a bit more. Um, definitely LinkedIn is a main focus for us right now. Obviously we're doing the YouTube thing, I'm, I'm active on Instagram, Ricky is active on Instagram, we have a Project 33 Instagram but it's a lot right now so it's important for us to like know like where we're we putting our focus and that is and will be LinkedIn heavily um, because well one LinkedIn is where all our business comes from that's where all all leads are generated and I want to to get Ricky's LinkedIn to a point where he's generating leads for project 33 and then obviously that's what we do for our clients so that's really the platform that we need to understand and figure out most um, YouTube is more so for you guys to provide value, to document the journey, to have something to look back to. Um, eventually, I think this will be part of Project 33 once we really start pushing, building the brand. Um, but um, that's more so long term and really right now um, LinkedIn is, is what we need to do. So that's what we kind of talked about and uh, drink some coffee and now we're going to keep talking. That was a long ramble again. Sometimes but that's it. what we do here, you know? We're having conversations. This is an actual conversation, not just a, hey, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? Yeah, that's that's kind of what I wanted to say. <laughs> Put some content, film those rice fields. Ricky, film those rice fields. That's it. Yep. Perfect. We ready? Hey everyone, everyone. Look, we have people here. The German invasion. German people staying over. This Very is occupied. Person. Huh? This is the person. <laughs> this one's a vlog. I'm just telling people that I this is the person who told me He's about like, Bali. He's like, are you still doing it? Of course I'm doing it. Uh, he told me about Bali five months ago. Actually, oh, yeah, you, yeah. You, no, found, you found me on YouTube, right? Yeah. How did you find me actually? You, yeah, you sent me a fucking email yeah, yeah, no, with a um, fucking I, reporting template. I think, yeah. That was that <laughs> was how we met for the uh, first time. He's like, I think no I followed problem. you on Instagram before, and then I saw. How did you find me on Instagram? I don't know. I have no before. idea. I just found him on Instagram. Okay, we also just established that he's a stalker. And then yeah, and then I, <laughs> then I saw one of your first vlogs. Yeah. And you it was your on, report. It was in Cape. Was it Cape Town? No, it was still at home. Yeah, it was at home. And then I just sent you my flag uh, machine. Oh, yeah, and you could. Why aren't you guys speaking German to each other? That's no, what I want to know. I don't speak German. Uh, I don't speak German. German. Yeah. yeah. The two German sounding people not speaking German, it's weird. <laughs> no, but I mean, that's, that's a cool example. He found me on Instagram, he found my vlog, and he saw a vlog of me 
doing some reporting, he sent me an email. Where did you find my email? Where did I have the email? <laughs> <laughs> then you went to LinkedIn to find I my email. I, I don't know, it was linked on Instagram. I and you sent me a reporting template. Yeah, and, and then we hopped on a call. Yeah, and then I was like, dude, thank you for sending the reporting thing. Let's hop on a call. That was when I was in Cape Town. And then he told me that he was in Bali the past six months or something. Yeah. And when he told me about Bali, I'm like, either you're full of shit right now and you're bullshitting me, or why is not everyone in fucking Bali? And so he's literally the reason why I looked into Bali and now decided to come to Bali. He was in Germany until now. He came to Bali on Tuesday. And look, there's no year. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that insane? It's crazy. It's amazing. It's, insane. Yeah, it's good to be here. Well, now, now we, we're trying to get some work done here, okay? So, have fun. I realize I'm bad at delegating tasks because over the weekend I was sick, I was laying in bed for like three days, couldn't really move, had a fever and um, Ricky who's here with me in Bali to help me build our project 33 didn't have much to do and obviously that's a fault on my side because I didn't give him enough tasks to do while um, I, I couldn't do anything, right? And so I recently found a quote that I wanted to share because it helped me put things into perspective. I think um, Stephen Bartlett shared it and it said if you delegate tasks you create followers, if you delegate authority you create leaders and um, that really resonated because I realized what I was trying to do was delegating tasks instead of delegating authority. The problem with delegating tasks is number one it's, it's micromanaging, right? You have to tell them exactly, do this, then do this, then do this, then do this. Which, um, instead of saying, hey, I want you to take care of this, telling the end result, I want you to um, finish the website, I want you to create a marketing um, video, I want you to grow the YouTube. And then it's up for that person to figure out how to do it. Which, number one, will you actually save time because now you can focus on the other things instead of focusing on micromanaging that person. But I think it also, it also feels better for the other person because, well, you're giving authority. You're giving them um, more control, which also communicates trust, right? Because that means you're trusting that person, that employee, um, that intern or whatever to, to figure it out on their own. So, yeah, make sure, that, I guess this is a quick reminder to ourselves, are we delegating tasks or are we delegating authority? All right, guys, today we're gonna go on a poetry reading event that Anastasia organized. Actually, well, it's right here, I'm already there. I kind of forgot to, uh, to intro it. Oh, look, some friends are also there. The Germans also came to say hi. Wow, so we're going there now, it's up there. Let's go. Never enough to keep the fire in the fourth chimney burning, I wept and released. <laughs> and forgave myself for being human. And despite my darkest fears, the fire kept on burning and no tears could put it out, could ever put it out. The day I became wholehearted, I soared, and I hit the mic with my teeth. The big house finally serves its purpose. We have people here. Wow. Look at all this crowd. Literally, we have the noisiest neighbors. They have house parties yeah. every night. EDM. I don't know if you can hear them. Can you hear them? Like, do you hear that? It's like, it's like party it's all like, night, every it's night. It's like living next to a college dorm. You know what I mean? Like yeah, fresh it's like, stuff. Holy cow. Noxious. I'm pretty sure they have kegs over there. They're doing keg stands. What's, what's kegs? You know, oh yeah, like in, in America, we have this thing where it's a, a steel keg. It's like a barrel of beer. That's so weird. Whoa. And people do keg stands. Not that I've ever done one before. <laughs> and they do flip cup and then they do beer pong. And oh, I know beer pong. What they're oh doing yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're doing beer like pong. Like blasting that like Steve Aoki. And yeah. Like, and like people uh, are just not drink. calming down. Like what, what's happening? It's like, like 920 right now. Other people. It is currently Like we're trying to work here, okay? It's 921. Yeah. Uh, I'm usually trying to sleep at this time, but now I'm working. I mean, come on. Yeah. You know, like, wow. Geez. Sally. They're probably you not know, called Sally. Karen's probably going crazy over there. She's probably just like 
taking her shirt off, you know, showing the boys <laughs> her big old titties. Big old titties, oh and yeah. And just, you know, just going crazy. And you know what? Brenda's probably filming it, and she's probably going to post it on Facebook tomorrow. And you know what? Karen's going to feel stupid. Yeah, Karen so is stupid. Karen's going to feel so stupid. So stop Brenda, it, Karen. Brenda has now black male material. And guess who, you know who's really enjoying themselves? Steve. Steve is sitting there <laughs> pretending not to film the entire thing, but you know what he's going to do later? He's going to have it for later. And you know what's going to happen? We don't uh, even want to talk about that. You know, wow. it's really upsetting. <laughs> I see that. Okay. Uh, shit, now I can't do comment of the day. Let's do comment of the day, but I'm going to restart the camera, okay? Hmm. Comment of the day. Let's go. Uh, I like Finn, the one who didn't call his friend stupid. What? <laughs> I liked Finn. The one who didn't call his friend stupid. <laughs> what? I'm not getting that one. She liked the Finn that didn't like, that didn't call her, that his friend stupid. Basically saying oh. she liked the previous version of Finn, not right now. That's so stupid. <laughs> Why are you laughing so stupid? I'm not change, dude. That is, that is, Shout that out. is the, that is the comment that of the day. That is the comment of the day. She liked, she liked the old Finn. There you go. Adriana. Got it? Yeah. Adriana Ana Ananieba. Hey, you guess the comment of the day. Guess what? The old Finn can't come to the phone right now. Why? Shut the fuck up. Because he's you. dead. Wow. That was okay. a Taylor Swift thing. You probably okay, won't get it. Okay, okay. Of your stupid opinion. Stupid fucking slurp. You're so stupid. Hey, ASMR. Anyway. Uh, what? What just went on for the past uh, minute and a half? Should I do another one of the... Digital? No, that's how you got sick. All right, let's go. Rick. No. <laughs> no, that's how you got sick. Yeah. I can't afford you. I can't afford you to get sick. It's just... <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, we, you we, can't get sick anymore. Stop. With, 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 what, with a pretty good certainty, this thing is what got me sick. Yeah, that's it's definitely so what got sick. you sick. Like, look how sick it this got you lit. Is. It's so fucking sick. Put that down. It's so sick. Dude. That's gonna get you sick okay, again. I'm put it down. I don't want another one. Yeah. Alright, that's it for the vlog. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot. But why not? Holy shit. I just wanna make a trip to the China. <laughs> so finally you got scared, huh? No, I'm not scared. There's a bat here. I don't even. Can you see it?